I'm locked up. Yeah, you can flank. You can flank. That radar was fast snowball. You can't get to there without having like better aim, which is pretty luck based in my opinion. No, 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 no. How many feel Good. Now stop. The reason why you can't peek another is not because you can't take a fair duel. It's because it's not a fair duel coming up. Okay. They're rotating. There's probably more than one. You can't, you can't peek can't peek you got yours it's so lit drop a fast smoke right here it'll be impossible for these guys to play the round and no noble so the what you can actually do you shouldn't be like dang i should have realized there's so many rotating think of it as having like good default habits after getting a kill the worst default habit you can have after getting a kill is immediately swinging immediately swinging if you get a kill and the first thing you do every time if you're lost is swing for the next one you're in a lot of trouble a lot of trouble your default habit as controller after getting a kill should be to like toss a smoke. Tossing a smoke should be your default habit after you kill one as you unswing. Let's see you're peeking out. You kill one. Okay, you're unswinging. You toss a smoke. And now you've already had time to think and is lit. How do we want to keep playing? Okay, that should be your default reaction to getting a kill. Want to get coached? It's free. Join the Discord, read the VOD submission rules, submit a VOD for my moderation team to approve, and then show up to any VOD review stream and enter the raffle. Check the events tab on my Discord to see when the next VOD review stream is. Enjoy the video. Sheesh. I was wondering what was up with that win rate. Somebody started getting good. What the hell? The hell? The secret. Let's find out. Everyone sit up. Everyone sit up. We're all about to learn. Okay. We don't have notes. It's lit. Georgia 2 servers. Bro, people must think you're a demon. You're loading it with the barely gold act badge. The thing's got silver triangles in it. These guys probably think you're smurfing. Can you dart lobby? I'm going to play short. I was just about to do that. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, it's pistol round. I'm not going to complain that you're strong side, but let's watch. Holy shit. Uh, let's see long. See, see, see. I'm smoking. You liar! Why'd you close the smokes? Well, holy shit! Uh, let's see long. See, see, see. I'm smoking. Why aren't you smoking? What the range? What do you mean? See, see. You're gonna walk. I'm smoking. Cat. Chat, 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 chat. He's walking right now. All the non-omen players in chat are coping. They're out here like, oh. Woohoo, Jean, you don't know what you're talking about. Not enough range. As if I haven't played 7,000 hours of Omen. Get out of here. Get out of here. No, I got you. There's tech. There's tech. Even if you have a hard time navigating, there's tech. We were ready. here. And look, you just can walk forward and place the smoke. You see? No, Noble, that's not the tech. This is the tech. Let's say you're here and you don't know where you're going. Tap R and come back in and throw the smoke. You can tap R, Noble. You guys don't know about this? Since when this has always been a thing? Okay, and let me show you how to aim in R mode. So you look at your mini map. So let's say I'm going to smoke here arbitrarily. You get your smoke close to the minimap, and then you can like come in and dial it in if you really want. But you can also like, if you get good enough, you can actually just fully aim this thing using the minimap. Like if I'm here, you, I can smoke too long. Like, look at the minimap. Shadows traveling. So if you find this easier, then use this. Shadows traveling. You know, smoking your short. Shadows traveling. I'm smoking your main. Going out. I'm smoking Cover heaven. Out. I'm smoking CT. Oh, I screwed up the heaven smoke. Look at that. Actually, this is probably fine. This is unacceptable, Noble. If you're out here saying like, I find it hard to move while throwing my smokes, then boot up the custom and practice it. <laughs> because the smoke coming this late is unacceptable. The hit has, at this point, the smoke doesn't do anything. 
These people are already coming out. Your smoke is too late. They're out, they're out, they're out. Like at this point, if I were you, I wouldn't have even thrown the smoke and then people in the YouTube comments would be like, why doesn't we ever smoke? I'd be like, because that smoke doesn't do anything. 16 on jet. I'm waiting out smoke. Definitely playing lineups. Do you fall dead? A whole week? Yeah, they need a week to go VOD review themselves and get better at deathmatch. But you're clean. Okay, so in this scenario, you want to smoke the bomb. And let me explain. So if the bomb is smoked, then you can still fight this guy easily for your friend. And it's still just as hard. This person can spam either way, okay? So let's consider objectively the benefits of smoking both ways so I can convince the chatters who are a bit lower elo who don't understand why it's really just objectively better to smoke the bomb, okay? We've got two smokes and let's like pros and cons, okay? Both can be spammed, spammable. Either way, the guy can spam, okay? That's true either way. However, this smoke, gives you less flexibility. So this long smoke means you can't peek them, can't peek them. And now let's consider if their spam fails for both cases, okay? Spam fails here and here. Well, if the spam fails for the long smoke, it's lit because they have to walk out your smoke and they lose. But if the spam fails for this smoke, it's also lit because your guy defuses the bomb and they lose. So spam fails equals win, either way. And so this smoke just has the extra con that you can't really peek them. But I mean, with um, with good odds. You did end up peeking them, of course, but it's easier if we don't have to deal with this smoke while we're peeking them. Isn't there a higher chance you could die from the long smoke if you peek it? You shouldn't peek the long smoke. Yeah. You just shouldn't peek like this. This is crazy. The fact that we kill them, a lot. Nasus in chat, are you VOD reviewing yourself and picking like two things at most to focus on and fix at a time? Or are you just watching my streams and going, that's 700 things and I'm going to fix those? Nice. Because one of those won't work and one of them will work. How? Rain is low. She didn't heal. They're not entering. I'm saying it. I like this. Did you peek when I'm assuming you did, but just in case, did you like make sure they don't have a pop flash when you came here? Yeah, curve flash. Ow. If you just search Wahoo's and how to VOD review, it's like the first result on YouTube. Yeah. I don't have shares. Mid window dead. They're just still slow. Hmm, okay. Rest I'm checking our full buy here. It's gonna be good. It's a good night. There's no way you actually saw everything with that tap of the tab. Okay. We're pretty much fully forced up. Just going Sheriff. Okay. Yeah, I'm not test, even gonna pl testing. play short, Soba. I'm gonna here. sit backside. And it is already really bad, Noble, that you definitely don't know what your buy is. Now, you probably are pretty confident it's a forced buy, but you don't know. And that's a problem. Yeah, this might be. Okay. Ow. So there's the sheriff kill on our teammate. You flash them back and you're defending the gun. This is lit. Yeah, curve flash. Okay. But now you resmoke. They're still like chilling. Good. This angle is good. Chilling. You know they've got a sheriff. And you do this. This is terrible. And we look at the mini map. If you die here, the round could be over because they're going to come grab your specter. There's another specter here. And so now the enemy team might get B site, 4v3 advantage, and have two specters. That sounds really bad. I don't have shares. Mid window dead. They're just still slow. Yeah, so even here, shares. like, TPB, please. Please. Mid window dead. They're just still slow. It's not about playing to defend the gun, Noble. It's more about you're playing alone with gun advantage. That's the pattern I want you to remember. It's not you need to defend this gun. It's you shouldn't be taking risky solo duels with a huge gun advantage when um, you can't be traded. If this Sova was with you, this play is lit. It's lit. Rest dead. 
Last grass. grass. Go down. Yeah, body shot, Billy. I headshot him twice. Dick. Nah, bro. Oh, three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I actually like. Can you bait for me, Jet? Like, oh, peek you're gonna short, do the smoke? So then I can um smoke myself. Yeah, 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 it's here, it's here, it's here. Bait for me, bait for me. Like they're playing default. Rain is through, short, rain is through, short. Rain. Okay, please. You have to be really mental of this, um, or mindful of this. My, oh, even in Immortal, my teammates do this wrong and is really annoying. You're coming bait for me. So when you calm that, me as your teammate, I need to set my eyes here, see who's talking. Then I need to set my eyes here, see where the hell you are. Then I have to figure out what the hell you want me to do to bait for you. Like, Silver, can you peek short for me? Damn. Now that Sofa doesn't have to look at his minimap, doesn't have to look at who's talking, it can just come short and peek short. To be, yeah, this is a communications error that happens at all ELOs, but I want to fix this in my tier three subs, especially because in tier three in houses, I want good comms. Range too short, range too short. On A. Range too short, on A. Short, short, short. short. Really one way. They just drop bomb close. Yeah, even there, you hear the bomb and you come short, short, short. I feel like the bomb's been dropped A short. They're walking up short. They're both hit one, one way one. short. We're good, we're good. We smoked that one. Oh, you're a genius. The smoke smoke's. Day. Are we gonna come out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah double smoke day, double smoke day. This guy's still looking to see long. No way. Up B, B, B. Front B. I'm rotating all. Yeah, I know, bro. I'm trying my best, dog. E one more. Where's that timing? Were you ready for yeah, that? I know, bro. I'm trying my best, dog. Mmm, that's tough. One more. Wait, what is that timing? Short. You got yours. I like the play. I like the eco round. Oh, that's tough. I don't like the comms. I'm locked up. Yeah, you can flank. You can flank. That radio was fast, Snowball. You can't get to there without having like better aim which is pretty luck based in my opinion no 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 how many feel good now stop the reason why you can't peek another is not because you can't take a fair duel it's because it's not a fair duel coming up okay they're rotating there's probably more than one you can't you can't peek you can't peek you got yours it's so lit Drop a fast smoke right here. It'll be impossible for these guys to play the round. And no, Noble, so the what you could actually do, you shouldn't be like, dang, I should have realized there's so many rotating. Think of it as having like good default habits after getting a kill. The worst default habit you can have after getting a kill is immediately swinging, immediately swinging. If you get a kill and the first thing you do every time if you're lost is swing for the next one, you're in a lot of trouble, a lot of trouble. Your default habit as controller after getting a kill should be to like toss a smoke tossing a smoke should be your default habit after you kill one as you unswing let's see you're peeking out you kill one okay you're unswinging you toss a smoke and now you've already had time to think and is lit how do we want to keep playing okay that should be your default reaction to getting a kill and now from their pov their killjoy just died and then this smoke pops up and how scary is that you know what they have to do about this smoke They've got to burn like 500 credits worth of abilities to come through here. After the smoke, what do you advise? Depends. You got to think for yourself. There's no one size fits all. You got to look at these people. Think, how are they going to push through the smoke? Should I fight that? How? What are the numbers? Where's the bomb? Where are my teammates? However, the smoke gives you the luxury of thinking. But let's say you don't have a smoke. Well, then I like using the flash. Let's say you don't have the flash. Well, then I like just backing up. In this situation, what would you do? After I smoke, I really need to see how they respond. I really need to see how they're playing. But I'm probably Shadows smoking. Traveling. And then I'm probably like playing up here over this way. I'm being a heckin' evil dude. We'll come through. I'll get another. We're being chilling because they don't have a pop flash. But many players would also Cover recommend that you come this way. And this could be objectively better because you've got numbers advantage and that smoke will make them burn a lot of abilities. They do with rain of flash then? What do you mean? Rain of flash is not a problem when you're really close. Let's pretend I'm right here and I get rain of flash. So? Cover going out. 
I'll still see them on my screen. I don't even have to shoot the radar flash. They're all backing oh, yeah, up, all backing up. Good shit. Kills, good kills. Like this whole area. Yeah, one mid window. Mid. How the Wouldn't you get one and get traded? Yeah, I think I get one and a half, and I think they burn a lot of abilities for it. Hit me like that, bro. Dress and window. Dress and window. To be clear, you asked me what I would do, not what I think is objectively correct. I'm telling you what I would do, like in the moment. I'm bad at the game. Uh, cannot emphasize enough. Like, I mean, I'm learning initiator right now, but I'm hanging a mortal one, man. We have seal on control. Garage, bro. I got my bot there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't hold grudge. I think it's an A hit, probably. I can play B garage. We can keep one. Yeah, exactly. We got no info on how they're going to play around the smoke either. Okay. Like, I might one end up garage, having to TP out. They're run up. There's at least two in garage. Flashing B, walking into B. Oh, are we gonna lose this round? We do. We win. It's lit. I thought we were gonna lose. Whoa, we're still A? I guess it's working, so I'm not gonna complain. But Omen really belongs weak side, especially with this like long choke that's really flashable. No, no. No, no. I'm walking up lobby. Oh, good kicks, shit. Nice. Mm. One lobby, lobby, lobby. Tori Dunn's the window, prime. Try to bait them coming out. Bro, we're making the same mistake. Freeze? So, first of all, we shouldn't be here. Okay, they've got sheriffs. But freeze. What do we do? We walk to our left to unswing the angle as we toss a smoke and then then we continue playing. And then you do whatever. You do whatever. It doesn't matter. At this point, I'm happy, okay? Uh, you can play at this point however you want. And if we screw this up, whatever. It's fine. But if this is what your default is after that kill, I'm pogging off my god dang gourd. This applies to most controllers like Astro as well. It doesn't matter. We're coaching an Omen on Haven right now. 120. Damn, we gave them a gun. One, Man, I wish you lost these rounds. Uh, a lobby, A lobby. Yeah, At least uh, A lobby, A lobby. Yeah, this is crazy. <laughs> At least two, three, three, three. Back out. I'm not even sure you can back out at this point so against a rushes like the enemy team turns into an a rush it makes sense for you to want to walk up main okay but then you hear they're rushing and you need to come back here and have your sofa swing lower and you'll be upper and do you know why people like to high low short against the a rush it's because you can easily back up and stall it out after this short kill you can chill so you can get your kill and then you can lock down the site with your numbers advantage as they like try to rush out. And now, of course, some people will even go down here. But there's a it's a lot easier to deal with the rush with a short control than a main control. A main is really difficult to contest. And just think of it this way. Even if that doesn't make sense to you, imagine you're rushing A as the attackers. Where would you prefer the defenders be holding like stacked? you prefer that they've got two yeah. somewhere in the short area or two yeah. somewhere in the main area most people are going to want the main area because it's a lot easier to contest walking back Damn. last, last long. Gotta be long gotta be long 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 could be close oh don't don't be don't be oh. oh, that went through his head Bro, like... we have bomb down Good round. A is empty. I'm leaving A. They're up C. Oh! Is Omen Ultimate a joke to you? Oh. There we go. Wait, you're crazy. What? Okay. Okay. So you hear them here. I 
and probably not sticking the ult. I don't know. I feel like there's a non-zero chance they're close enough to peek you before your gun is out, which gives us less than 50-50 odds in this fight. And we've got numbers advantage. And the dude ends up being like insanely clueless and shift diagonal peeking you, which is insane, but... Last one was I'll on play. site with a... Uh, with play, a uh, yeah. Isn't off. Try in your smoke. Around. yeah if you're sus of cuppy these abilities up like we're not silver anymore in silver i actually encourage you to take a fight like this to just gain some confidence in your aim and your peeking or whatever but it's objectively bad if you know they're in the cubby area to do that uh we got omen flash undodgeable why is diagonal peeking bad math <laughs> okay this is your enemy in red and let's say that they're looking straight down Okay. This is you. Here's a corner and you're here and you're going to peek. If you peek diagonally at one meter per second, arbitrarily is how fast you run, then your horizontal component of your movement here is less than one meter per second, as Pythagoras would um, demonstrate. It's what, like 0.7? Okay. And the horizontal component of your movement is how fast your head is moving relative to this person's crosshair. Okay. That's all that matters is how fast your head is moving on their screen. Now, if instead of peeking diagonally, you just AD and peek straight this way. Now you're moving at one meter per second horizontally. Your head is moving faster on their screen. Hey guys, leave. No, no, no. No sight is strong sight, leave. Falcon. It's just um where more people are playing. So right now, this round on Haven, A is strong side because there's three of us here. That's it. There's no like, this side is always strong. This is always weak. It's wherever you guys are playing. They're definitely coming. It's 0. 0.7071. See, hey, I was close. I guesstimated 0. 0.7. It's working your long. Wow, I got dick. Better. Bro, aren't we facing an yeah, eco? No, I don't know. One still on C. Close B, close B, close B, close B. Hey, this is lit. One was C long. You could have walked up. So oh, yeah, uh, here. Oh. Left mid window or something? In their spawn, in their spawn. Ooh. Just go on, man. Just fuck him. Really yeah, I wouldn't have thrown that smoke. <laughs> this guy's different, bro. I'm gonna pick up the van. The reason I wouldn't throw the smoke is there's a general principle that chaos favors the disadvantaged and all utility inherently increases the amount of chaos going on in the round. So let's say there's a chaos meter. Of course, there are times where using the utility is just objectively good, but um, especially smokes, they increase the chaos meter quite a bit. Oh, sorry. You can't even see my meter. Like every smoke just increases the amount of options available to everybody, which generally favors the team with less members alive in like crazy clutch scenarios like this. Like if it's 4v1, you don't need a smoke to convert that. And I probably wouldn't use a smoke. Yeah, it actually became Good really round. dangerous. Oh, I'm tucking short. 1A lobby. Man. Man. I hear some B. If okay, your pre round plan is to come here, I'd like to see you get a shorty. Front B. Close, close front B. How about a one way? I'd be down. I'm potentially down for a one way. But it depends. It really depends. Because the one way can it can benefit both come players. If you one way like this, and you're this guy, now you're like, okay, they can't push me there. Time to take my single duels. Also, to be clear, you guys are saying no more in-wall one-ways. There's no more red arrow one-ways. This is actually different. For example, this is a green arrow one-way. Because there's a little ledge. <laughs> and a lot of people, when they saw the change, they didn't realize that one-ways like this are still in the game. Just fine. Like, there's a lot of one-ways everywhere that are still totally functional. Like... Shadows traveling. Chilling. Do you see what happens when you like push immediately? They're already looking at you. What the hell? 
You just smoked Killjoy off. Was like, catch you later, Killjoy. Oh. <laughs> Wait, dude. What if an agent could like do that, but their smokes are inescapable. They're like jail. You can place a little cage on the field. Domain expansion. Oh, one long, long, long. The Probably ball, dude. Spike <laughs> down. I'd be worried walking up short. Yeah, upping. Walked up stairs. Walked up. Bro, what are you stairs. doing? <laughs> you are the most fight hungry alpha I've ever seen. No wonder you fragged out all the way up to diamond. Like, I'm not surprised. You like you gained in incomprehensibly large amount of confidence and it carried you from silver three to diamond one let this be a lesson for all the silvers who i tell to just take fights look at this guy we're up in diamond now be be. we gotta we just gotta uh we gotta be a little smarter about it though little bro Hopping. told me he plays c this game you're telling me you play it one round okay. one c long one mid window Now this I like, this I like, but I probably want to flash them. I'm down, I'm down 55. God, I'm nice. God, he's different. Tech, wasn't that a diagonal peak? Maybe. That's not the topic of this review at this point. Lots of you. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, so I'm you can use utility. So you can use utility. Look, damn. Oh, it's doomed. Oh my God, it's not doomed. One hell. I haven't even planted yet, bro. We think I have time. Forty short. I'm not against peeking in 2v3. <clears throat> Long. Dash away. Flash first. Oh, we threw the second smoke. Look. Okay. So rushes are the hardest thing in the world for omens. Okay. These, this is, this is where the best omens are palpable. Like you feel the power of a good omen. So in this rush, you smoke heaven. It's lit. Yeah. But now your teammates are scaling short. This flash has to come and then this CT smoke and then you're out with the team. And that flash had to come first because if you look at the mini map, your Phoenix was here when it was time to decide if you should flash or smoke. And no, no, it's not as simple as, okay, I'll always smoke heaven, then flash and then smoke CT. No, it's as simple as you need to be paying attention to the pacing of our rush and decide when it's appropriate to use the ability. It's not one size fits all. Right here, I see Phoenix scaling up. I'm flashing. I smoke heaven first. Who plays heaven to start? Nobody plays heaven to start, but 10 seconds into the round in high elo, the B player who hears the A rush is already jumping up the stairs to tower. And they'll be roughly here at 1.30 if not already peaking. And that smoke should be here so that they're forced to jump out. I would not smoke heaven last. I can't flash. Close. Look, Rain is already dropping out heaven. Do you see on the mini map? Heaven. And so is already heaven. How can you silent jump the stairs? Oh, are you about to get timed out? How to silent jump stairs in Valorant. <laughs> it's the first result. First Google result. Ooh, see you in an hour. <laughs> Eddie on site. Knife him, knife him. It's actually better to knife here. 
that's Eddie, tough. I'm sorry. That's tough. You lost the team that round. I'm not as crazy. It's against the rules. It's against the rules. If I can Google your question and it's the first result, you get timed out. That's in the rules, man. I got a whole emoji for it. Cause it happens a lot. Right side to be on. Behind us. Mid window, mid window. I'm pretty sure if they were to walk in your smoke, they'd be like here. Oh! One more arena. One back site, flat. <laughs> They're in garage. Crying. Nice try. Okay, okay, TPing for pacing. Short dead. No, no, no. Wait, wait. So you say short dead. But the pattern recognition receptors in my brain are telling me against an A rush, it's best for the defenders to double up short. And so I'm expecting that second dude to be going short. I'm still flashing. I think you might not flash now. And I think they might be short. 17 head chat he's 17 head oh my god there's another one. Oh my god there's another one <laughs> diamond player noob of course there's another one that's the predictable outcome back site We die. We lose the round because of it. I wouldn't blame your flash, but all I'm saying is in this scenario here, I'm probably winning the round because I'm calming another one short. I'm just calming there's another likely short and I'm going to flash before this smoke because, you know, that's my read. Because where's the main guy? Where'd they go? They shot at you. Short dead. But you come short dead. And so it, like the opposite happens. God, there's another one. <laughs> there's another one. Whoa. Crazy. <laughs> oh, this is so lit. No, this is way less lit. That's your second TP. But you want to be A Link when the bomb is planted, generally on the B hit with Eco. But what I really like is you come in here and you just heckin' gamble the hell out of the timing. And you just TP here when you think they're past you. <laughs> and you go goddamn infinite, man. It's Eco Brown. Get your Twitter clip. Yeah, so it... Oh! Greasy Link. Yeah, that's the laziest pick I've ever seen. I'm pretty sure nine times out of 10, you are dead to this guy with that peak. Killed one. Rotate yeah, back. This is so fucked up. This is actually so fucked up. You hear jet dashing main. Killed one. And you're like, okay, you know what? Instead of trying to do anything for Sova, like, I don't know, smoking, playing with him, you're like, all right, good luck with that, Silva. Rotate back. <laughs> Gone. Gone. What a deep smoke. Grudge. I'm not going long, by the way. PT. All three CT. Long, Wait, this is so messed up. So you know all three are CT and you're coming long like this? This is a hard baiting. CT. Fights we could have been in. Fight we could have been in. What are you shooting at? Uh oh.
<laughs> it's literally the smoke I said was bad. And then the reason that it's bad is... <laughs> <laughs> I explained this literal misplay last half. No. <laughs> and then you can peek out and see him. Good round. That round sucks. I'm making you watch this post fight again. We're aggressive. It's lit. Our jet's with us. We're aggressive. It's lit. Now watch. Bro, at least let the homies in on the plan. At least tell them you're gonna let them die. You're alone. You're alone. <laughs> Stop. You're just like oh, peace CT. out. You're CCT. alone. <laughs> okay. That's the last com I want to hear. I'm like, I'm your duelist. I'm playing aggressive space back site. I hear the enemy team rush it out, and then in the back of my ear, I hear my omen player. You're alone. I'm like, what the fuck? Why? Why am I alone? I just saw you push DP. Why am I alone? That could be awful. Okay. So ops generally can anchor A. I like that flash. I actually think you hit Reyna with that. Dead. Behind box. No, you're crazy. You're Heaven. crazy, dude. Okay. Let me try and explain why the fight's not that good. Going heaven is not bad, but peeking like this is terrible. Hey, yeah, we hit a 148. Probably digged earlier with a wall bang. POV, you've queued up for your fifth rank game of the day. Haven, fifth time in a row. You start defense. Spike planet A, great. You're the C player. You're rotating over and you come here. The only saving grace is you find this duel. You come out, you find this duel, you find this duel, and then this duel, and you win the round. You defuse the bomb. You're pogging off your gourd. The enemy team just let you fight them one at a time in the post plant. Okay, now POV. You peek out, you don't see anything. The smoke Shadows pops up right here. You go, ah, shit. Eventually, you feel pressured to walking into it because the bomb's ticking down. You still don't see anything. You don't even hear anything. You hold tab. None of your teammates got any useful util. You gotta come out. And you get shot from there and there and there. Oh no. You lose. You lose. Okay, so now when you're the planters, which of that, which of those two teams do you want to be against the enemy? So you're out. TPing up here. This is not necessarily bad. This is really hard for them to like push into your smoke. Like if you're playing here, you've got an advantage. But if you're going to peek into this guy, who certainly hears your TP, you're in a lot of trouble. I hope you play your off angle. Off angle o'clock. All right, we give him a duel. Let's, no, no, let's watch side, how our side. teammates convert. Uh-oh, we've got nobody hell. What are graffiti? Heaven dead. Uh-oh. Who's got Phoenix? I'll Nobody's see. got Phoenix. Phoenix just has to win a fight. Both back, Both back side, back side. <laughs> Bro. Good round. Good round. Checking if we get any more post plants. Gager's on me. It's lit. All right, before we watch the rest of the round, an exercise for the viewer. Noble. What are we doing? What's the play? You've had time to think. Your teammate's planning the bomb. You're chilling hell. You look at your minimap. Little electric loop. Thank you for the prime. Tell them you're swigging off their contact, right? Who's them? You're using too many non-descriptive words. Are you telling Phoenix you're swinging off his contact? You're telling Killjoy? Yeah, so I would just... I'd inch up here. Phoenix, I'm swinging off you. I've got smoke and six. I'll smoke heaven. 
get ready to fight off phoenix you smoke comes up you smoke heaven and then you're heckin back to playing with phoenix and that heaven smoke helps because it protects phoenix it lets him get wider and more comfortable taking this angle they can't come out here but it's certainly not standing back here and watching phoenix fight let's see what you do uh Rena seven. you stand back here and watch no phoenix smoke. fight Three seconds she's having guys no that's messed up there's no way i get off this bike just looking at it. that's messed up that's messed up BG. that's messed up would you ask Killjoy to watch the heaven jump out? I don't need to ask her that. If they jump out heaven and kill me and I don't get traded, not my problem, man. Not my problem. This Killjoy's problem. There's only so many things you can worry about. Okay. It's very simple. Very simple. After getting a clerk kill, your default habit needs to be to begin unswinging and throwing out an immediate smoke offense. When we begin to enter post plant, I want to see you form a simple plan of action with one teammate. Bam. Bam. This is how you make notes, chat. No, you will ignore most of the mistakes, okay? I saw the bronzes in chat being like, did he diagonal peek that? Or being like, could he throw one way there? Or should he keep it simple? 